Now, so not all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are fine and everything is all right. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Yusuf Kashal and I am a high school English teacher in Mulil Hassan High School, Misur, the director of Bullman. Today, we are going to be talking about a really lesson whose title is the Human Rights. So, welcome all of you, more exclusively, first year baccalaureate student whose national textbook is Ticket to English 1. So, please take your notebooks. Open your books and go to unit number 9, page 128. Quickly, please. Uh, human rights. A reading in the title. So, what do we mean by human rights? Or what does it mean to say human rights? Human rights, by definition, are all the fundamental rights that all citizens in different countries in the world, in, in the world five continent, can enjoy, regardless of their sex, color, religion, language, origin, or political beliefs, and that they can never be taken away from them, from any one of them, and that they are the umbrella of any circumstances from birth until death. So this is in short, as far as human rights are concerned. Before we read, as you can see, before we read, there are five pre-reading questions that we need to come up with good answers to. Number one. What is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights? The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, known in abbreviation as UDHR. So, UDHR, here it is written, by definition, is a very significant document in the history of humanity and human rights. It consists of a number of articles that all aim at promoting and protecting human rights. It can be considered as a masterpiece reference that stands for and speaks up for those who can't speak for themselves. To cut it short, we can say that it's an article or it's a document that consists of a number of articles that all have a purpose in common, which is promoting and protecting human rights. Remember that? So, as far as question number two is concerned, when was the UDHR Written. So we were talking about the timing of the year in which this article, this article or document was written. So it was written on December the 10th of 1948. So remember the year is very important. It was written in 1948. Question number three, where was UDHR written? So we were asking about the place where, where it was written. Of course, it was written, as you can see in front of your eyes, in an, in an administrative capital. It was written in an administrative capital of a European country whose name is France. Paris, of course. Next, who wrote UDHR, or the Universal Declaration of Human Rights? Of course, it was, it was written by a comrade, a chair by a gentleman whose name is Anna Rosen. Remember the name, Anna Rosen. Good. So, the last question in the pre-reading stage, in Morocco, a council and a commission promote human rights. Who are they? So we need to identify who they are. Of course, as you know, there are many governmental and non-governmental promote or work on promoting uh, and, and protecting human rights in Morocco. But most of them are the National Human Rights Council, again, the National Human Rights Council in Morocco, whose President or whose general secretary is Amina Boyes. Of course, Amina Boyes is a very famous social activist in Prague. Two, the Moroccan Association of Human Rights, whose president, of course, or the new elected or the new elected president or general secretary is Ahmed Al Hajj. So that's all concerning the pre-reading question. So let us now move to the to reading stage. So before getting involved with the reading task. Here is a simplified version of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that we need to read some of them and match pictures with articles from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Article number one, please have a look at it. What does it say? Article number one, right to equality. So what do we mean by right to equality? Of course we are different, but this difference doesn't give you the privilege to be superior to you. I am not inferior to you. We are all different. By the, by, the, by the end of the day, we are all equal. Remember that. Different but equal. And I think this is the best picture that best matches article number one, right to equality. Have a look at this, please. 
Article number four, we're going to hit, what does it say? Freedom from slavery. Freedom from slavery. So what do, mean, what do we mean by freedom from slavery? Of course, we are all born free, and nobody has the right to enslave anybody. We are all born free, and we need to enjoy this freedom to the maximum. Okay, article number four, this is the picture that we can use to relate to article number four. Good, have a look at this piece. Article number seven, right to equality before the law. Right to equality before the law. So as you know, all citizens are equal in front of the law, and they have to abide by the law. But what we need to know is that we have right to equality even before the law. Okay? So this is the picture that best matches article number 7. Article number 13, right to free movement in and out of the country. Right or right to free movement in and out of the country. So I'm broken and they have the right to move from one city into another, from one geographical place into another territory, of course. And nobody has the right to stop me from doing so. Uh, and as I have the right to fly or to travel overseas, provided that I provide the, the legal papers, the passport, or the passport and the visa, it depends. And this is the picture that best matches article number 13. Article number 15, right to a nationality and the freedom to change it. Right to a, to a nationality and the freedom to change it. I am a Moroccan citizen and I'm proud of being so. I'm proud of my nationality. But I think there is no harm if I change my nationality or I ask for double nationality. There is no. So we all have the right to change our nationality or have double nationality. So this is a legitimate right that all Moroccan people or all citizens of the universe have access to. And we can use this picture to relate or best explain Article Number 15, which is about right, uh, right to a nationality and freedom and the freedom to change this nationality. Move on ahead, please. Article Number 16. What does it say? Right to marriage and family. Everybody has the right to marry the person they love. So we all as we all aspire to have a successful married life, and we all want to enjoy or have or give birth to children. As you know, Iraqi people place a great value and importance to family life. Uh, this picture is the best to use for explaining or best matching article number 16 that I have just explained. Uh, move on ahead, please. Article number 17, right to own property. Right to own property. I have the right to buy a car, as you have the right to buy a flat or a house or whatever. So we all have the right to own or to possess property or properties, let's say. Okay, so it's easy. This is the picture that we can use to further explain or be more information related to article number 17, right to own, possess property. Great. Next, article number 18, what does it say? Freedom of religion or belief. I'm free, I'm, 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 I'm a Muslim, I'm not proud of being a Muslim. And they believe, it's, I'm Muslim, it's because they believe in the peaceful message or the peaceful principles of this religion. But it doesn't necessarily mean that all citizens of the universe have to be so. I believe in Islam, other people believe in Christianity, maybe others in Judaism, other people are atheists, they don't believe in, in they are disbelievers. So we need to respect each other when it comes to religions. So this is the picture that can best explain or explains what relates or best matches article number 18, freedom of religion or belief. Article number 19, next, freedom of opinion and information. Freedom of opinion and information. So what does it mean to say freedom of opinion and information? Of course, I'm free to express my opinion the way I want. No, no, but the way I want. Nobody has the right to stop me from doing so. It's my freedom. It's my right to express my opinion and voice the ideas that I believe in mind. As I have the right to get different pieces of information from different social media, audio, visual, or written ones. Okay, this is the picture that we can use to explain this article. Move on ahead. Next, article number 21. Right to participate in government and in free elections. Again, this one, it's controversial whether it's a duty or right 
for me it's belt, it's twofold. It is a right, it's because I have the right to participate in government and free election, as well as it's my duty to contribute to government and participate in free elections, which means voting. It's my duty and my responsibility to do so. And this is the picture that we can use to relate or best matches article number 21. Uh, next, right to education. Article number 26, right to education. This is very important and we need to shed light on please now. I think, uh, first of all, I would like to tell you that education in Morocco is compulsory to the age of 16. Education in Morocco is mandatory to the age of 16. That is to, this means that nobody should drop out of school before this age. And as uh, Nelson Mandela once said, Education is the most powerful weapon that we can use to change the world. The most powerful weapon that it seems to me is the most peaceful powerful weapon that we can use to change the world. Which means we can't talk about any sustainability, we can't talk about any prosperity or development without placing a great value and importance to education. So education is for everything and for everything. We never stop learning unless we are there by it. I think uh, never too old to learn. And we should not stop learning, as I said moments before, because life will never stop teaching. So we need to place a great value to education, because it's the only one that gives you, that sharpen your mind, sharpen your visions, and uh, make you think highly of yourself. So education is very important, that's why we need to place a great value to remember that uh, This is the picture that we can use to best relate education to article to article number 26 highlighting or prioritizing or placing a great value to education the last article of course the last article of the one that i put on the board of course there are 30 articles of, of course you know the video should not be boring that's why i just put much, much focus on those which give much importance to equality social justice and more importantly education uh, next, article number 27, a right to participate in the cultural life of the community. Again, whether it, it's, it's controversial, debatable, whether it is a duty or right, I think it's twofold, both of them. It's, an, it's, it's a duty, I have the right to participate in the, in the, in the event or in the, in the cultural life taking place in the community that I live in, as well as it's my right to participate or to take part in the activities or the cultural event taking place in the community that I live in and I belong. So, okay, so that's all concerned with the relating pictures to, 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 to these articles being put on the board. The next, the next ta task, uh, on your book page number, please uh, turn, your, turn your page, page number 130. So you have a new task to be done. Read again the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and find out how many articles are related to, to education. By the way, you can do it by yourselves, this is very easy. You just go back to the articles being written on your book, page 128, 29, and please try to decide, try, try to be decisive people uh, what are the articles that relate to education. It's easy. Okay? So, uh, as a follow up, as an assignment to be done at home, Tell your peers about some recent news or events related to human rights, which means please try to make an open discussion, discuss, here it is, try to make an open discussion with a friend of yours in which you will try to give your opinions and please try to invest the ideas that I have been talking about in the whole session, please try to invest all of them and uh, try to defend your ideas while making the open discussion with a friend of yours or a family or a relative or your parent in which you discuss with him these news or events related to human, human rights please with a reference to the universal, the universal Declaration of Human Rights. Thank you so much for, for watching today's video and thank you for your attention and keep in touch. Catch you later. Salam alaikum.